Hi everyone and welcome to Calm Creations Craft Tube Floss Tube. My name is Tia. Today I'm going to do some work on my Vintage Sewing Techniques journal and I thought today, so I'll show you, I haven't done any more on the cut work. So that's the cut work block that we're doing. Well everybody else is finished, um, probably. So that's that one. And then that's the cross stitch piece I'm doing. So I need to crack on and get that done too. Um, and this is the English paper piecing block. So I thought we could do a little bit of work on this. I've just got this little flower pinned in place. I need to invisible stitch it down. So we might do that. Let's move all of these out of the way. So this is the project that um, is being run by Susanna from Vintage Blend Studios. You can buy this um, set on her Etsy store and it's got all the instructions, all the patterns. Um, so that's what that is. Now, let's move that aside. And then let's stitch this little flower in place. Now I need, what do we got in here? I need, I need, I need. Where's my cream thread? There it is. And then I can get rid of that pin. Where are you? Like some. Um, and then maybe stitch the lettering. Right. Let's start with this little flower. Should have probably used a pink thread, but. What have we got? That one's probably better. We'll go for a piece of it. I hope you've all been well. Things are well here. Nothing exciting to report. <coughs> Just lots of crafting going on, all the different projects I've committed to. I'm just waiting on one more to arrive, it's still not here. Um, should be any day, and that will be another video. And then I've got another project. Um, that I will be starting but I'll be filming it but it won't be released until next year um, so <clears throat> I'm really looking forward to that one I haven't started it yet but um, it's going to be a good one I've actually got two of them. So, can't wait. But I mean, it's October now. Right, come on. How did that even happen? Understand if you're a, a bear and you hibernate, but you know, you wake up and it's gone. That's how I feel sometimes. So, kind of a little 
invisible stitches to hold this down. And then we'll find some bits and pieces to decorate it with. So all of the pattern pieces and templates and um, everything is included when you buy the PDF from Vintage Blend Studio. So that's available on her Etsy shop. Um, but it's certainly worth doing because it, you know, you revisit all of these techniques that, you know, that you may or may not have done. Um, I know there's a few in there that I've never done before, like the cut work, I've never done that. Um, and then Susanna's also <coughs> um, starting and the first one's already been released some extra add-on blocks so the first add-on block she's doing is wool felt um, a wool felt collage I believe um, now I don't have any wool felt as such I've got craft felt and I think some of it may be wool felt I'm not sure but I can make it work okay there's that little bit stitched on Already, I want to put some sort of trim down that seam. Let's see what we've got. It's really pretty but I think it's way too wide. Nothing else in there will be suitable. They're all too big. What have we got in this tub of treasures? Hmm. Okay, we'll keep that as a possibility. Um, where's the rip rack? Let's have a look at that. I've got it here somewhere, maybe. I don't know. Could be anywhere. Just hang on a minute. 
could have been a bit more organised. Sorry, out of the desk. <clears throat> Got this grey grain ribbon. So maybe some of that could be made into. Let's have a go with that. <clears throat> um, if it's going to be doubled, it have to be a long piece. So, let's re thread that bit of cream. See what we can come up with. Okay. We will cut that so it's straight. Do it. Yep, that bit's there. Then that'll have to come up through there. I know you can do it on the sewing machine. Do I just do a running stitch? No, because that won't... That won't lock it in. Oops. Right, we're making a right schmuzzle of this. Uh... Okay, let's get this needle through that again. Somehow. Okay. <clears throat> what we need to do is fold that up. Pop a stitch in there. Stitch in there. Aha, now we're cooking with gas. 
Oop. Spike too sane. Okay. Don't panic anybody. We've got it. I think. And pop a stitch up through there. Hold that up. I was doing um, the cast on stitch for my snippet journal just following the instructions and I thought you know what there must be an easier way to do this um, and I had a look on YouTube and no there was none there was no easier way to do it I was trying to find a shortcut but there wasn't one there would be for this, I'm sure. Okay, maybe we'll just do a small piece. Okay. Back down through there. And then we will tie this off at the back. Sure, how this is going to work, but or even where this little element is going to go. Okay, I'll cut that off about there. Can go there. How am I going to stitch it down? I don't know. Right, let's find... What else can we add? We can do some buttons. I really should try and thread paint that, but I'm not very good at it. Um, but I think that would... Actually, what I might do... <clears throat> as an overcast stitch on that. What have we got? That'll work. A piece of this and a piece of that. stitch this little flower on just using an overcast stitch I'm very tempted to start one of the blocks is crazy patchwork, but I've got to get these ones finished first. I don't have to, but I'll see. Because I'm loving doing that sort of style of stitching, it's lots of fun. just go wild with your choices of supplies that you want to use. You can just use a bit of everything. Okay. <clears throat> right, I might pause.
pause the video here, carry on stitching this little flower down and I will be back, back in a minute. Wow, that took a complete change in direction, didn't it? Look, <laughs> okay, I have d d found, you know, I just couldn't let it rest. I had to go and find the rickrack, so I did that. So let me zoom down and show you what I've done. Okay, so there's my rickrack. It's sort of a creamy colour. It looks quite blown out and white in there, but it's a cream. I've done a whole lot of green... Pistol stitches across there, just some little straight stitches, French knots to hold down the rickrack, and then I've come in on this side and done lazy daisies and a little straight stitch. And what I'm going to do on the end of each of those little straight stitches is um, French knots. And I thought I could use this thread here because it sort of matches with that little flower there. Um, so that's what I've been doing. Totally didn't plan it like that, but that's okay. And this is from this little seam treatment is from Jennifer Clouston's book, um, Foolproof crazy patchwork. It's one of the hexagon, one of the little pieces in one of the hexagons. So let's get this threaded and started. I also started the wording um, and I've used the green. I backstitched it and then I whipped it. So that's that bit. Right, let's go back out. Uh, wrong way. That way. There we go. Um, <clears throat> so yes, that's where we're up to. One, two. And these I'm going to do in a little triangle um, shape just on the top of those three are uh, those straight stitches finish off that um, little part there. So let me zoom you back down so you can see. Oop. Focus, focus. Are we going to focus? I don't know if we're going to. Let me go back out a little bit. Oop, wrong way. There we go. So I'm going to do those across the top of all of these um, and I, that will finish that part. So let's go back the other way, wrong way. So my friends that's it for today. I'm going to leave it there and carry on with my little French knots and um, next time we come back um, to this particular project I don't know what we're going to work on we might do some of the cut work we might don't know but thank you very much for watching and I will see you all again soon thank you bye